Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon and hopefully today's video is a brief one on sodium and I really stress the word hopefully here only because with sodium or so many other things out there, health or nutrition related, I think that we overly rely on secondhand sources to get our information and then form our opinions based off of that information that we receive. The problem with doing this is oftentimes things are glossed over and some important factors are kind of lost in translation, which really alters our perception on these things being good or bad. And sodium definitely falls into this category. So as far as this goes in my cooking videos, you'll see I add a good amount of salt to my meals. I always comment, I keep my sodium intake high. You'll also notice that I use a lot of buffalo sauce, which has a good amount of sodium, which led you guys to question me, aren't you concerned with high blood pressure? And my answer is an emphatic, no, I am not, and neither should you if you're a healthy individual, meaning that you don't currently suffer from high blood pressure. The problem is, is that we take a look at those who are already suffering from high blood pressure, and see that by reducing the amount of sodium in their diet, they're able to reduce their high blood pressure, we assume that this means that sodium is the culprit here, and that's not the case. Because again, we see, all right, high blood pressure, sodium. Lower sodium, lower high blood pressure, the two must be equal. They are not. They are not responsible for one another. There's a ton of factors that go into determining high blood pressure, which we can probably talk about in another video if you guys are interested. Another key thing to take into consideration here is it's not so much the sodium that you're taking in, but the relationship to sodium and potassium. So instead of reducing sodium, you could see the same benefit simply by increasing the amount of potassium that you take in. But again, for a healthy individual, this is all irrelevant. So if you're currently healthy and don't have high blood pressure, don't really sweat your sodium intake. Just make sure you're taking in good amounts of potassium as well and you'll be fine. In later videos, we'll talk about other sodium concerns like water bloating and retention as it has to deal with something called aldosterone. But we'll save that for another video. In the meantime, thanks for watching and stay big.